All right, so this is number 5.28 from the review. Uh, and this question reads, Henry is to be at Megan's apartment at 6.30. From past, experience, from past experience, Megan knows that Henry will be up to 20 minutes late, never early, and that he is equally likely to arrive any time up to 20 minutes after the scheduled arrival time. So the first question asks... What is the probability Henry will be more than 15 minutes late? Uh, so the equally likely part, where is it? Right here. That lets us know. I mean, also the section, uh, I mean, the section that's in it also lets us know that. But if we didn't know what prop type of problem this was ahead of time uh, from the section, we could look at this equally likely. And this is going to tell us that we're dealing with a uniform random variable. Right? So now let's let our X be a random variable that's uniform. Um, and it's uniform on the interval from zero to 20. And we're basically saying by that, that X is going to be a random variable denoting, so random variable denoting the number of minutes, minutes, Henry is late. Right. Uh, so yeah, so the number of minutes he's going to be late is a uniform random variable between zero and 20. Um, so really what matters in a uniform random variable setting is going to be the length, right? So we're really just, I mean, we could just do this kind of without thinking too much in the sense that he's, it's going to be between zero and 20 minutes he's going to be between zero and 20 minutes late we're looking for the probability that he is more than 15 minutes late so it's really just going to be this portion so just this distance right minus the 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 dis over the distance of the interval uh so we could do that and basically what we'd be doing if we did that is using the the cumulative density function um so if you recall the cumulative density function for a uniform random variable between A and B, so um, right, let's let's do of Y. So if Y is uniform, uniform on A to B. And the cumulative density function for a value between a and b is just going to be given by y minus a over b minus a. And this is for a less than or equal to y less than or equal to b. Uh, so using this, this problem becomes very simple. Um, and then to get this, I mean, we could do it directly to your integrating a constant function. Uh, so, but we'll, we'll do that as well. But let's let's do it this way first. So in our case, what is our dense uh, CDF? F of X, it's going to be X minus our A is going to be zero over 20 minus zero. So this is just going to be x over 20. And this is for x values between 0 and 20. Right, so what is this f of x though? This is the probability that x is less than or equal to the little value of x, uh, the little x. Um, so in our case, we're looking for what? We're looking for the probability that x is greater than 15. So this is going to equal 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 15. So this is going to equal 1 minus f of 15. <clears throat> so this is going to equal 1 minus, plugging it in here, 15 over 20. 
So that's going to be 5 over 20. This is 20 over 20, uh, which is 1 fourth, I believe. So that is it for part A of this question. Uh, the other way we could do it really quickly is instead we if we could get the density function. The density function is 1 over b minus a, 1 over the interval that we're on. So we're uniform between 0 and 20. So this is 1 over 20 minus 0. And this is for x values between 0 and 20. Sorry about that. Right, and then we have this density, 1 over 20. So how do we get this probability? Uh, we want the probability that x is greater than 15. So that means we integrate from 15 to infinity um, f of x dx. But this only takes non-zero values, f of x, uh, up until 20. So this is going to be equal to the integral from 15 to 20 of our density, which is 1 over 20 dx. So we integrate this, uh, and we get 1 over 20x evaluated from 15 to 20. So that's going to equal 1 over 20 times 20 minus 15. So this is going to equal, again, 5 over 20, which equals 1 over 4. So in either way, uh, we get the same answer. Uh, if you know the CDF, I think that's a little easier, but the integration here is really kind of simple as well. So yeah, either, either way works.